the great thing about the film, The Boy, is that when you when I read the when I read the script and when I hope you when you see the movie, there are many different uh, avenues of thought and ideas that go on, and I hope the audience will be taken down a few red herrings, wondering whether or not it'll turn out to be this idea or this, you know, and I hope that it'll be a surprise because um, the movie has a great twist. He, he comes over for his weekly delivery and stumbles upon this girl who's just arrived and is instantly, um, is instantly taken by her. I think, I think for Malcolm, living in the sort of, in a rural place in the middle of nowhere in England, um, to suddenly meet someone who is so different from his own background um, and who has a different sort of look on life is really exciting for him and interesting. And I think he, I think he pretty much is, he pretty much falls, falls for her straight away really. Um, and it's, it's about whether or not that, that sort of feeling that he has will, will come to anything really. I think there's been a great tragedy in, in the lives of Mr. and Mrs. Hilsha. And I think he's very aware of that. And Malcolm, um, Malcolm sees their sadness and sees their pain. And I think he tries to help them in, in a way by being there for them, but not necessarily changing them and trying to kind of get to the bottom of the truth. Um, they're pretty much set in his ways. And I think Malcolm is in a weird way. He's kind of pretty much set in his ways, although he's much younger and living his life. He's kind of just going along in life and it's not until he meets uh, Greta who comes along that everything kind of changes for him. She's been uh, a fantastic kind of um, friend and we've, we've, we've worked very, very hard on trying to make this relationship real and genuine and believable, you know, in, in, in the film, I think. And she's been fantastically open to different ideas, as have um, the director, Brent, and, and producers. We've all, uh, I hope, feel that we've all worked together to try and collaborate and bring this, this piece to a, a, a sense of, a, you know, reality and fun and, and, and all the different things that I hope this movie will be for, for everybody who watches it. What's been great is that he's really, he's really interested in the characters being, being honest and truthful and having that as the basis for our story. And so whatever else happens around that, um, however supernatural or crazy, it's really based in a truth. And, I, and I've, I've really enjoyed working with Brent and how, and how he's, you know, he sees the movie and how he's kind of very carefully moved us as characters and the story around to kind of give it, give it a, a real sense of life and suspense and all those different things, you know? Having a doll which sort of <laughs> doesn't move is very powerful, weirdly. And uh, it's going to be really, really interesting and exciting to see it all put together and how, how this doll kind of communicates moods through the film and how we all react to it. You know, it's, it's crazy. It's something that will intrigue everybody who watches it and they'll want to watch it over and over again because it has so many different kind of, uh, yeah, different appeals, I think, for me. So I hope, I hope people will um, see it as a real achievement in trying to kind of move horror forward in, in a different way.